Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 8 of Dr. Elisa. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I figured they were just going to show this again. <laughs> But see, the question is, is she going to initially confess? <clears throat> like, what is she going to do? How is she going to get out of this mess? I mean, because I get it. She has no other choice. Okay. Yeah. But that doesn't matter.
He might ignore you, though. He's literally avoiding her, and I don't like that. Just don't tell him that she's here. I want to make it a surprise.
Mm-hmm. And she was clutching her stomach. She's been clutching her stomach. Is that water build up though? You want to treat her now? You have nothing. He not going fast for me. I mean, it's it, the horses should be you know, like go. I want to see. You know, I'm not really into medical stuff like that, but I want to see. I want to see. Thank goodness. Your handwriting, babe. <laughs> you, you really barely said anything to her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. They so cute. Mm.
Look at the dolphins! Uh-oh. Until that one fateful day. That's everybody's worst fear. Mm -hmm. Took everything down. So, in a way, second mom, second family, she's everything to you. I think your family would be very proud of you. For sure in love with her. It's obvious, duh. It's pretty. That's right.
I think this was the best episode, honestly. I mean, to finally get backstory on Dr. Graham for the longest time, because I, I've been wanting that-ish. The fact that we finally got it, thank you. I needed that. Because you would, like, ever since we first met him, there was something about him where it was like, you're just so curious to know. And now that you truly know, you do feel hugely bad for him. But, you know, his whole entire family is currently proud about what he did. It, it sucks, really, to lose someone to disease, hence COVID and such. COVID is still, it's not as big as it was at the time a few years ago, but it is still out there because there's so many freaking people now who are like, no, it's gone. We don't have to worry about that anymore. But y'all can still get it. We just, right now we in allergy season, aka the worst season for me. I don't like allergy season like that, but I, I cannot imagine losing not one, not two, not three, but all five and you being the only one left and having this huge house to yourself and not being able to pay someone and such, but only one stayed with him and it wasn't really for money. It was just because she cared for him. That just tells you how, how much she, like, really valued him as a person and such and, and cared for him. And so even though between, like, taking them taking care of each other and then the loss of his, fa his family, I do love the fact that, you know, because of that, he's just like, yeah, I don't want to lose anyone else to any sort of disease, illness, whatever. So this is what I want to do. I think that was a really interesting story. Now... The big elephant in the room. Yes. <laughs> Elise is not <laughs> who she said she is. And I was expecting Graham to be, as she even stated, a lot angrier towards it and such. Because they, they've they been with each other for like halfway through this series as of right now. And of course, I think Dr. Graham like trusts her a lot. Really values her, you know, opinions and her decisions and any other wordings that um, he possibly would ask her for, or like advice or per se. And to find out, and, and I get it, because I think if we were all in the same situation and you see someone, workplace, whatever and such, and you're known for this name, but they know you for this name, you have to like, you have no choice. You have to do what you have to do. I Like I said, it was a really good choice because in the end, she had no other choice but there are consequences for that. But I, I love the fact that she's like, no, don't treat me as a lady because I've now told you, hey, this is who I really am. Still treat me as I'm your pupil. Same thing. There is nothing between us. We still have this same relationship, even though, yes, I am a lady and I'm more higher than you. We're still equal at the end of the day, regardless. I thought that was really just sweet. I, I would have wanted to see the surgery, though. I'm just saying, maybe if I finally watch that one anime, maybe I'll possibly get that. I don't really know yet. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction towards episode eight of Dr. Elise. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode nine. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.